Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to the final round of Season 1 of the Williams RTG career mode on the F1 2021 game. It's been a season full of ups, downs and, any, and everything in between. Hopefully we can end the season with a bang to go into the summer break and next season with full of hope possibly and just ready for the next season with some R&D upgrades and things like that. But if you do go on to enjoy this video, um, you can subscribe if you want, like the video if you enjoy it and I'm going to let Crofty talk his usual rubbish and then we'll start the race. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Leclerc, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo and Stroll, Sonoda, Norris, they've taken a grid penalty, Ocon and Carlos Sainz, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, George Russell, Brown, Vettel, Fernando Alonso, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. Mazepin, they've taken a grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So we're starting 14th thanks to penalties. It's an easy one stop. It's lights out and away we go here in Brazil for one final time and we've got away well. We're just going to absolutely send it down the inside. We're still side by side with George, we haven't gained anything yet. But we are right on the back of those in front. So now for Romeo, can we possibly gain any more positions here? Our engine is very, very worn coming into this race. But down the inside have we gained, we've gained... Uh, None really. George has lost, has lost one to the the Alpine of Fernando Alonso, who has as we goes down the inside of Kimi Raikkonen, and now we're on the back of Carlos Sainz. Are we good enough to go up the inside of him? Do some risky? No, we're just a little bit too far back. Um, but Alonso. He's retiring at the end of this season, so this is his last race as Kimi Raikkonen goes down my inside. Alonso is all over the back of me. Of course, we had that epic battle back in Canada, which I'm going to miss because Alonso is a legend of the sport. But our engine has started smoking, and that's not a good sign. We're only on lap two as Alonso would nearly make a bit of contact, but... We're doing the odd smoke screen. If we're going to get overtaken, we might as well put a barrier in the right and we lose out to Don't know what's happening now. Carry on. But we lose a couple of, of positions again and we've lost out to an Aston Martin and an Alfa Tari. But we're going to send it back the inside. You, you use our smoke screen as it is now. To, to the engine is giving up slowly. We get back past. And you can see George is sat there in the background. George <laughs> is right in the thick of it now as we re-overtake the... the um, Alfatari, look at what George is viewing. It's my, it's pretty much driving in the wet as we nearly make contact with our teammate. There now we're side by side with George Russell, and George has got past us. But look at the Alfatari. He's coming back at us. Um, of Pierre Gasly, and Pierre Gasly's got the job done. And behind us now is Max Verstappen. If we can't keep an Alfatari behind us. We're not going to keep Max Verstappen. He had that great race back in 2016. As there he goes to our outside. He may be in a quicker car. But I'm still not going to make it easy for him. We force him off the track. And a Haas has overtaken him as well. This is why the engine's smoking. Look how worn our engine is on, on the display. There's more orange and yellow than there is green. 
Um, as we go wide, and now we're going to come back onto the track, and we nearly hit um, Mick Schumacher from Max Verstappen's point of view. And now Verstappen is all over the back of us as we lose out to Mick Schumacher. And oh, this engine is shocking. As up the inside, look at Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen, oh no! We've hit each other, and Max Verstappen is skimming us down the barrier as we rub the barrier. What is Max doing? He was off the track. I know we're in a slower car. But come on, Max. That's not on. Look. He just puts it in the wall. And and he, he does a little bunny hop as well. And what is Max doing there? He's off the track. And we just go skating down the barrier. That's, that's not on. As we can hit the barrier as well. And we're going to skip on all the way to lap 16. So when we make our stop, we were falling further and further back. This engine is on its last legs. It's gone. It's in the bin. But have <laughs> can it get us to the end? It's very worn. We go on to the mediums. I knew. Look at the state of our engine. It is red. I knew at some point it was probably going to go. But I hadn't done Brazil yet on the game at the time. And I just wanted to drive it. I knew... It was risky, and we might as well just have retired. But plus, one, I've got to give you an up, um, uh, um, episode to watch, and two, I just wanted to drive Brazil. Um, as we come round there, you can see how worn the engine is. Look, it's pretty much red, and there's something. And the CE, the control electronics, Are is on, okay? and the engine's that gone. Big one. The Confirm engine has okay, gone. Please. We're out of the Brazilian Grand Prix just after we pitted and we are out. That's not the way I wanted to end the season. We've had about three retirements already. Add four to that. Coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today. Speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Well, Lewis Hamilton rounds out his record-breaking season with another win this season after getting his 8th full title back in Singapore. Bottas makes it a 1-2. Ferrari and um, Mercedes also dominating the constructors. Um, it's been a good season for us. George got a point. It's not like we're last, like Williams have been for the last two, two, um, two or three years. In real life, F1, we're ahead of Alpine, ahead of Haas, and ahead of Alfa Romeo as well. Um, coming into this season, coming in towards the end of this season, there was a regulation change, but I was I was saving my R and D points just in case something like this did happen and to go into next season. So I had enough R and D points to save everything. And plus we had some upgrades on the way. So I was just able to kind of knock them off. To give us the points to continue. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this season. I'm going to leave you with some of the highlights for this season. And I will be back for season 2. Very soon. Goodbye. This is wave 4. He's going to go to the inside and he's got us so much more quicker down the straight. And we're going to tuck back into his slipstream. Can we go down the inside? No. He's got us covered off. I may have been a bit more aggressive if that was last year. He's got the run on us now. Down into turn one. Flick of the steering wheel to our inside.
and Juvenaz is through. But we, like I just said, we're not done there because we're going to try and cut him back up the inside. Juvenaz, he defends it. But now we're going to have a run up towards turn four. Can we do it? We're going to wait for it. Send it straight down the inside. But Juvenaz is going to cut us back. And what a camera angle this is. We're side by side through the tyre S section. Down the hill. We force him wide and off the track. Juvenaz didn't make that easy. Can Lewis Hamilton do it? Or can Daniel Ricciardo hold on on the final lap? Lewis Hamilton goes round the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo tries to force him wide. But Lewis Hamilton has the bravery to send him round the outside. And on the final lap of this Bahrain Grand Prix goes into the lead. Daniel Ricciardo was so, so, so close. Up as we send it down the inside of Pierre Gasly at the Lone's hairpin. We are not messing about, but do say so myself. That is a great move. We're going to round the final two corners and we are going to pick up Williams' first points since Germany 2019. Through Abbey we go. We've gone a bit wide through farm. Mazepin's gonna go down our inside. Into village. We tried to cut him back, but George! George has gone to the inside of us. And the two Williams collide. We collide with our teammate. And don't know Joe he's pulled off there as well. And it's been four rounds and that wasn't even a battle. George saw his opportunity, which is fair enough, but we've hit him. The two Williams and we've collided with our teammate, George Russell. Look at that, George. I did leave the door open, but I decided that this was just stupid. Lap 14, damage to the control electronics, and we're just going around at the back. We're not catching anyone. We're nowhere near anyone. We're just going further and further behind. We're in last place. So what was the point of continuing on? We were just damaging other components as well because of the control electronics. So we are going to pit here to, to take our first DNF of the season. Hopefully it's the one and only. No, no. There's... There's the Alfa Romeo of G... Be on the safe side there's still quite a few races left so we are going to take an entire new engine column let's get into the race okay we have a severe engine issue find a safe space to retire or return to the pits oh shit on it after all the saving parts last time out in silverstone last time out in spa we take new components and the engine's gone Damn it, we needed a good result here after those two. Practically pushing it. Look at the Monza trainers down the inside. Guys, guys, Kimi Raikkonen. We try to hold him around the outside, but there's contact. Kimi Raikkonen has been spun round and is reversed. Straight to the house and blocked off our teammate George Russell. Look at this, like, look at the absolute slipstream Kimi Raikkonen gets. And he tries to go down the inside and taps our rear tyre. How we don't get sent round, I don't know. And then he just reverses across the track. What is Kimmy doing there? The most experienced driver on the grid doing that. But to me, 
that wasn't Kimmy's corner. Carlos Sainz in his Ferrari. On oh, he's out of the look at that, Carlos Sainz is out. Jeff told us he was out and said, what has happened to Carlos Sainz here? And he's lost it, he's dropped it, and he's absolutely gone straight on into the barrier. All the places to make a mistake. And you've done it here, Carlos. Contact with Kimmy's round again. Kim is in the wall. And Nikita Mazda pins out of the race. And make sure Max has been caught up in that as well. And... But Kimi Raikkonen, for the second time this race, he's got his front wing ripped off here at Monza. Is now skipping on to the final lap, and there's Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez is out of the race, and Charles Leclerc has hit him as well. And there's a replay of what happened. There's, there's Sergio Perez out of the race, and so is... Charles Leclerc, it's an absolute nightmare for Ferrari at Monza. Both Ferraris in front of De Fosi out of the Grand Prix. Here is what happened from Pierre Gasly's point of view. It's a massive crash there. Absolutely huge between Sergio Perez and... De oh, that was such a fun race to do. That... Let's focus on the that is miles today. the best race of this um, career so far. Battery Bottas wins it, but how is there only 14 cars finishing and we still couldn't get into the points here in Monza? There goes Vettel, a bar inside, into the chicane, but he's hit the wall. He's hit the wall where the old Mickey Mouse section used to be. He's ripped off an end plate. That wasn't really my fault. I left him space. But Sebastian Vettel now has damage to his car. Look at the absolute train that was behind us. Vettel pits. Gasly trying to get past us. We cover him off. Into turns. One, two and three now. Into turn three. We've gone a little bit wide. We've gone wide. And now... There goes Big Gasly, he's up the inside of us. We try and go and keep him around the outside, but Big Gasly spun. Big Gasly has spun, and you can see everyone flooding through as he goes further and further down the order. He doesn't have a front wing. As we are witnessing an historical Grand Prix because Lewis Hamilton wins it and makes and gives himself his record breaking eighth world title in the process and back to constructors for mercedes as well there goes charles leclerc picking up a p2 and now the hunt is on who is going to be the f on the final step of the podium though through the the final corner and we are going to get williams first podium in a long time we came so close to points in Monza, but we get a podium in Singapore. And now, coming towards the end of the race, you can see the two Mercedes because we are about to be lapped, lapped in the American Grand Prix. How have we sunk this low in the matter of one round? We've been lapped by Valtteri Bossas and now the 8th time world champion Lewis Hamilton after Singapore. As we come round there you can see how worn the engine is. Look it's pretty much red and there's something and the C8, the control electronics Are is you on okay? the engine's that gone. Big one. The Confirm engine has okay, gone. Please. We're out of the Brazilian Grand Prix just after we pitted and we are out. That's not the way I wanted to end the season.